So it looks like a first for Infinity Ward is coming along after all with Modern Warfare 2. Even though it's been rumored for quite some time, we kind of have our first actual look at it as an in-progress build of Modern Warfare 2's desktop combat record seems to have leaked out a bit. Then we're breaking down what we can learn a bit with this in Modern Warfare 2. So as we go along, drop your thoughts below. Are you looking forward to either this first from Infinity Ward in their titles or perhaps what some of this combat record will track? We'll let your thoughts. But if you enjoyed the video, you find it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing running all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and DMZ. We are going to be tremendously busy the next few weeks to months here. So if you guys would like to join us on the road to half a million subscribers while staying up the day with absolutely everything, I'd love to have in the community. But for now, let's take a look at this new leak, hinting towards a bit more for what Modern Warfare 2's experience may hold for us. So earlier today, tweeted by Cod Sploits. We mentioned him yesterday in the talk about DMZ and the leaks that we learned here about that. He tweeted a link to a telescope.callofduty.com link. At first, I kind of thought this was like an image hosting thing where it was just a leak of the in-progress combat record, but then I realized, wait a second, this is, this is interactable, which then prompted me to wonder, wait a second, is this just a spoof then? But turns out it didn't seem that way. Not only is it, of course, linked to the official Call of Duty website, but the telescope prefix is actually a proprietary open source web kit that allows for menus and pages to be built for and shared across PC as well as console. We're talking about both desktop browser functionality, but also in-game functionality. One of the best visualizations of this that we can see is actually the CDL Call of Duty League integrations, that channel in-game, as well as the latest news tabs and patch notes tabs that you can find in those messages of the day, but also in some other menu locations. Those are all built upon that telescope platform. These seem to be shared across things like Activision and Call of Duty's websites, but also as well as in-game. And this has been exemplified by UI and UX designer Alex Benbasset, who designed the Call of Duty app and Activision websites on his portfolio, he explicitly states Telescope's functional designs here, but also he showcased recently some concepts of what looked to be made into the now since privated hubs for the strategy guides for Modern Warfare 2. So this looks to be checked out and looks to be something that is our first look at both of these. But anyways, seems like this checked out. But before we jump into any specific details about what is tracked on your account with the upcoming combat record, ranked play was the big thing here that kind of stole the show out of what people are already picking out of this. This is the first time that we'll see this with an Infinity Ward title. Now, yes, Infinity Ward has, of course, hosted competitive in the past. The CDL's inaugural season was in Modern Warfare 2019. Infinite Warfare had competitive, but that had game battles integration. Before that, with Call of Duty Ghosts, we didn't see anything in particular again with a dedicated ranked play, and so on and so forth beyond then. That's kind of always come down to Treyarch Games, and then as of recently, Sledgehammer as well. But for Infinity Ward to have their own branded ranked play, that's a first tier for their games and looks to be coming with Modern Warfare 2. Now, this again isn't anything that is truly groundbreaking or anything that is a special report or anything like that of that kind. I mean, we've heard the rumor that ranked play would be coming to Modern Warfare 2 since July 7th when the Ghost of Hope tweeted about this way back when, in which he said that ranked play will be coming to Modern Warfare 2 shortly after the launch with Treyarch leading development on the mode. Since then, it's also been found that ranked play had strings in the game files of the Modern Warfare 2 beta, making it look like it will be emulated the Vanguard ranked play that we ended up seeing here at this. And to that degree, I'm kind of okay with that. I didn't play a whole ton of Vanguard's ranked play, so I could be off base here at this, but I like the idea of grinding out your ranks, even having a top 250 leaderboard where you could see where you stack up if you do make that top 1% of the player base, and also along the way getting rewarded with different blueprints and camos alike. So I was cool with that idea when I heard that, but to now see it finally confirmed here essentially is pretty cool. Now that said, who's running the show? That prior report coming from the Ghost of Hope seems to indicate that Treyarch will be leading the show here at this. And to that degree, that might sound like a bad idea. That might sound like something like, oh, they're not gonna have enough time on 2024 and they're working on that game. But in all reality, that team is relatively small by comparison to the overarching umbrella of developers working on their next title. So this might be something that is very inconsequential on the development of that game. But that would then make this the third game in a row that Treyarch seemingly has a hand on in regards to the ranked play capabilities. They got that monopoly up and running apparently. But anyways, if that is is in fact the case if this does follow through as such when can we expect a launch because right now it's rumored that it won't be coming at launch of Modern Warfare 2 so when could we see this now rumors right now kind of hint towards season one 
But as with the rest of this, that's just speculation at this point. But even that, I think, might be a little too early here to see this. Simply because, one, Season 1 is going to be reserved for the first multiplayer content, that being the Battle Pass, new weapons, new maps, all that stuff we've become accustomed to over the last couple of years with new seasonal launches. But then also Season 1 will bring along Warzone and DMZ launching. So that is a ton of content front-loaded to begin with, but then you throw in a brand new ranked play mode, that just might be a little bit too uneven in terms of distribution over the course of the year. Now, whether or not that's a good thing or a bad thing by comparison to what we've seen and what you expect, that also doesn't take into account number two, that the CDL season is actually starting the earliest we've ever seen it here within Modern Warfare 2 compared to the last couple of years, which is definitely nice. But that starts on the 2nd of December. So I'd be more inclined to believe this is going to be something that comes around the launch of that, if not in tandem with it, either right on December 2nd or potentially in a mid-season update following shortly thereafter kind of giving the rest of the content here that we'd see with season one and that is a massive amount it seems like time to breathe but then also being able to highlight this as a brand new introduction for the game whenever it comes now again whether you're a fan or not of this sort of live service strung out content releases that is an entirely different story for a different day but the way that we've seen it in the past, that kind of makes a little more sense to me. Now, beyond that, that's ranked play. That's what we have here for this. But the overall combat record that we see built out here in this sort of in-development look at the desktop pairing for this actually shows a bit of decent stuff. If you go to it yourself, it'll just show the sort of placeholder stuff. 755 games played, 24 hours, a KD ratio of 3.13, win loss of 2.32, stop backing out of all those games, and a bunch of other stuff if you go digging deeper into the multiplayer portion of it. You have things like your career, your loadouts or recent matches and all things like that, but it looks to break down a lot more in depth than maybe we expect. Infinity Ward has a history of not doing combat records all that great, not quite to the point of super in depth like we've seen with Black Ops games in the past. I still think Black Ops 1's combat record might be my favorite of all of them, but this at least shows a little bit more in depth statistics and things that you can track if you're at all interested with that, which to me is more so confidence in that core game. Now, I know we've played the beta already, some people may not have confidence in the game or whatever but to me whenever you have this level of specific design and tracking that you've had the time to build out usually that means that the rest of the product should be pretty well and complete by that point so while we don't know the full offering of stuff coming at launch maybe fingers crossed that's a good sign that we have a decent amount of stuff on the way. But anyways, that's where we're at here at this. Just wanted to bring you guys this quick little information because this was kind of fascinating to look at. Something that looks to be an in-development window of what's still upcoming, but shared across your desktop and also console accessibility coming in the near future. So that said, let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of this here? Are you looking forward to ranked play and what it may hold within Modern Warfare 2? That first iteration of Infinity Ward's mainline titles with a ranked play? Are you looking forward to an expanded combat record. What are the case? Drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, you found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. We're running all things Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, and DMZ upcoming. We've got a lot in the near future. So if you'd like to stay on top of all of that, I'd love to have you in the community. But for now, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.